And now, for parts unknown, no indeed now production brings you the most riveting 10 minutes in your young, impressionable lives. It's the 10 Minute Thrill! Here's your host, Joe Compton! Hey everybody and welcome to the 10 Minute Drill! I'm your host, Joe Compton. It's so nice to see you, so nice for you to keep coming back to our show. I hope you're really enjoying this fun little game show that we've got going on here. And boy, do we have a great show for you this week. We had a great team come and join us. They, of in all the weeks, to not screw up, this was the weekend. <laughs> so I'm going to apologize in advance. It was totally my brain fart that I forgot to get them to introduce themselves. We were having so much fun right at the beginning. And this was a fun episode, fun group. And we just, you know, they took it on. They're the Redliners, and they really were very thorough in their approach to not only the rules of the game, but the questions themselves. Very thoughtful, very unique approach. We'll see if it pays off. We'll see if they can top the Valkyries. Valkyries still staying strong. Uh, first team to go a couple weeks without being knocked off. So uh, we'll see if the Redliners can do just that. And here... Without further ado, it's the game, and to meet the players in this weird custom intro that I just made. Real quickly, here are the rules and the scoring of the 10-minute drill. The 10-minute drill is 15 questions or 10 minutes, whichever comes first. Players will take alternate turns answering one question, and then the next question comes out only after everybody has answered. A player can pass, but they can only pass once within the game, so they have to use it wisely. If they use the pass, but cannot come up with an answer, the clocks keep on running until they answer. The tiebreaker for the scoring goes like this. It is the fastest finish time versus the most questions answered versus the least amount of passes. So if you all, if you finish the 15 questions, your fastest time will be the leader. If nobody has ever finished the 15 questions and you get to the 10 minutes, then the ones who have answered the question the most will be the leader. And thus, if nobody, if there's still a tie after questions answered, then the team that has used the least passes. Now, if there is an uber three-way tie and everything is equal, then we go by the average answer time of each player. If by some happenstance there's still a tie, well then Armageddon has occurred and you all need to run. But that is how the 10 minute drill goes. Pretty simple. Well, let's go ahead and meet our players for this round. minutes on the clock here we go the first question mandy the best kept secret in the indie publishing world uh it's not really a secret but bookstagram it's the best nice. way to get right. to your audience nice dusty never will make your own best editor nice shane i think indie publishing is the greatest kept secret in indie publishing Nice. That's good. Nice. Nice. I like that. Courtney. Um, Book Sprout. I really like it because you can get a lot of early uh, ARC reviews on there, and they're great. So. Okay, Courtney. The weirdest ritual you have in your own writing process. I have to, like, get to know my characters before I can write them. Like, I have to kind of make them real people in my head. So I, I, I kind of, like, know their life story before I start writing. It might not be in the whole book but if i start writing it i have to know like 
not necessarily what they ate for breakfast, but I have to know like what relationship they have with their parents and you know, nice. favorite moments from their childhood and stuff like that. Nice. All right, Shane. I kind of have to set the mood, Joe. You know, I put on some low lights, turn on a little romantic <laughs> music. I make a nice dinner, <laughs> pour a glass of wine. Uh, I have to like get in the right headspace because writing is a very intimate act, you know. Yeah. Uh, sure. So you kind of have to get, yeah, I kind of have to get in there, you know, and get get in the right headspace. You wine and dine yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody. <laughs> <does it. laughs> nice, Dusty. I would say that I kind of freak some people out because I read my own writing back out loud, and so it can be kind of noisy while I'm writing. <laughs> You're not alone. That's my. That's mine too. <laughs> I act out all my stuff. That's how. Yeah, I do you too. Writing. <laughs> yeah. Amanda. Mine is the exact opposite of Shane, heavy metal and coffee. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, it's a thing. <laughs> Bambi, w would you rather do a video tutorial, a blog post, or an in-person in presentation if you were hired to teach someone about writing? Blog post. I'm a total introvert. Nice. Dusty? Blog post. I communicate best when I can edit my work. Nice. Shane? Yeah. In-person presentation. I like to be in front of people. I'm a teacher by profession, so I like to be I like to be able to see who I'm talking to. Nice. Courtney? Blog post, and you probably a pretty long one because I like to get really long and detailed with like picture examples, video examples, and stuff like that. Nice. Okay, Courtney. If you had a pen name, what would it be? Pen name. Mine I already have one. It's CL Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a cop out, but I'll accept it. All right. <laughs> Shane? Oh, uh, pass. <laughs> All right, Dusty? <laughs> uh, with a name like Dusty, I've never even needed a pen name. But... <laughs> nice. I always thought, like, you know, something bold and strong, like Dirk. All right. Nice. <laughs> Mandy? Um, I've actually considered using one for romance, L. Ryan. Nice. All right. So, Mandy, what actor or actress's movie do you always have to go see, regardless of the story or the hype? Tom Hardy. 100%. Nice. Dusty? Pass. All right. Shane? I mean, the honest answer is nobody, but I guess John Cusack. Nice. Oh, no, that's good. a good one. CL Ken? Um, I'm going to say Tom Hiddleston. All right. All right, Courtney, I'm your barista. Give me your coffee or tea order. Uh, a great big glass of sweet tea because I hate anything hot like coffee or tea. So. Nice. Shane? Uh, and, uh, an iced vanilla latte with an extra shot, unless you pour shots, you have to do two shots, then I'll take both of them. <laughs> That's the Grande Mocha Breve Half Chocolate. <laughs> Pumpkin spice latte because yes, I am that girl. <laughs> All right, man. Now, so it's okay. Now I'm your bartender. Give me your drink order. Oh, Dr. Pepper. I don't drink. All right. Dusty? It's been years, but whiskey sour. Nice. Shane? Oh, uh, uh, Jameson on the rocks. Nice. Courtney? I don't drink either, so I'm going to say an extra, extra chocolatey chocolate milk. Nice. All right. All right, Courtney. Yeah, I to go out with. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Courtney. The profession that one of your characters you created has that you would most like to do or try. Oh, um, shoot. Let me think. Um, I don't know if it counts as a profession. Um, shoot, I'm just going to pass. Pass. <laughs> okay. Shane? Uh, professional musician. <laughs> Which you are, though. That's I mean, I guess, but it's kind of cool, you know? I guess, okay, journalist, I do that, too. All right. um, okay, so I'm going to go back and answer the pen name answer, and I'll skip this one. <laughs> my pen name, if I had to be one, would be the same as my porn star name based on that algorithm of oh childhood pet and street you grew up on for Skippy Tanglewood. Oh. <laughs> nice. All right, that's me. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I lost the question after you no me there. <laughs> <laughs> Perfection that one of your characters has oh, that you uh, yeah. created that you would like to try or do. Uh, a homicide detective. He's probably the character I identify most personally with. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, district attorney. 
Nice. All right. Andy, uh, as, as we hear screaming in the background, what is the most frustrating aspect of Facebook? The algorithm. Nice. It's awful. <laughs> My posts always get lost, and then I have to figure out the new tricks. <laughs> Dusty? The number of rabbit holes you can fall into. Nice. Shane? <laughs> the people on it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Courtney? Facebook jail. I hate it with passion, and I, I've been in there several times. I'm a repeat offender. So, so Courtney, are you more likely to put your pen or pencil in your mouth, your ear, or twirling it between your fingers? Probably my mouth. Nice. I, <laughs> That's why, Shane. Oh, ear. All right, Dusty. Uh, definitely ear. I used to to be in the bad habit of doing that. Of course, that was back <laughs> when I actually used a pencil, but I don't think I've written by hand in years now. No problem. <laughs> Mandy? Yep, mouth. I chew on mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mandy. Most disappointing sequel book book or movie ever? Oh. Uh, Star Wars Last Jedi. Don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh... I'm going to say Poltergeist 3. <laughs> All right. Loved okay. the first two, hated the third one. <laughs> nice. Spider Man yeah. 3. Nice. Yeah. All right. Courtney? Oh, gosh. Don't kill me about the two towers. It's like my least favorite out of all the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> all right. Uh, a lot of people are worried they're going to die. At, at that <laughs> all right. Uh, Courtney, number one played song while you're creating right now. What is your number one go to song? Um, probably Joy Division, Level Tear Us Apart. Nice. Shane? I guess most recently I've been listening to a lot of this song called Tupelo by Jason Isbell. Nice. Dusty? Uh, the theme to PJ Masks, because it's all I ever <laughs> hear while I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy? Um, I have to think. It would be Bastille and Blame. All right. Okay, Mandy. What artist discipline would you like to try that you haven't done before? Oh, God. Pass. Okay. Dusty? <laughs> I got nothing. Uh, probably sculpting. Nice. Or, or okay. model play. I think nice. film is up next for me, actually. Nice. Awesome. Cool. Courtney? Um... I have done painting before, but I'd really like to l learn digital painting uh, like a lot of the cover designers are doing now because I do a lot of cover design, but I don't have that sort of skill set yet, and I'd like to develop it. Nice. All right. Uh, Cordy, the type of – oh, excuse me. Um, the type of post that always solicits a ha-ha emoji from you. Marvel memes. Nice. Especially the ones where they're on the, the telephone. It's like the text messages. Nice. Shane? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I guess local news stories that I know are going to ruffle feathers. I like to put ha-ha emojis <laughs> on the comments. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Dusty? Uh, for me, it would be wordplay, puns. Nice. Mandy? Uh, mine are kind of like Dusty's, the, the grammar memes and writing memes. They always get me. Nice. All right, Mandy. Is writing really 1% inspiration and 99% elimination? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think the ratios are off there. <laughs> no. Shane? No. <laughs> Courtney? No way. And you guys finished all the questions? Yeah. At the 10 minute mark. That so, doesn't matter. Wow. <laughs> Five weeks in, and we've had two teams complete 15 questions. Unfortunately, for the Redliners, they had a couple extra the extra passes in there, and they didn't quite get to the time that the Valkyries did to complete the show. Well, but they did complete it, and that is an accomplishment in itself, and they should be very, very proud of that fact. They did complete all 15 questions and did so in the time allotted. I mean... Right at the buzzer, but they did so 
regardless. It was a great, great effort and a lot of great answers. As usual, another great show. And as usual, we will be back next week with another episode. And we'll see if the Valkyries can make it four weeks in a row at the top. Uh, they're humming and hollering out there. I'm sure they're excited to know that they are still the number one team. And we'll see if we can get a team in here to knock them off when we return next week. Remember that it's always time to go Indy now, and it's always time for the 10-minute drill. What's that? What was what was the hardest question for you guys? The career one was for me. That's why I passed because mm -hmm. most of mine are like teenagers because I write YA, so they don't really have like like dream jobs or anything. Like one of them works at a fish shop, and that's like where I did when I was a teenager. And I'm like, well, I've already been there, done that, so I don't really want to do that again. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm such a method guy, so I end up trying to do whatever I'm asking my characters to do just so I know what it takes to do that thing. Note to self if I ever read a, mur a murder book by Shane Wilson. I will have right? absolutely <laughs> committed murder. <laughs> and that's why I don't murder in my book, because I know what I will become. See my, you don't want to see my Google search history. It's scary. <laughs>